Hello, this is another installment of AMGA's Public Policy Update. I'm Lauren Lightney, Director of Government Relations at AMGA. Yeah, and I'm Jamie Miller, Senior Director of Government Relations, and I wish there was like a fireplace in the back. <sighs> to next yeah. time. Okay. Next Sorry. time. Okay. So we're here to talk about telehealth and not fireplaces. So in 2019, there seems to have been a discussion about whether telehealth was going to evolve, and it's evolved kind of rapidly. How did that happen? Well, Lauren, we had a pandemic. Um, and we're still in the middle of the pandemic. But what Congress uh, determined through lobbying efforts of AMJ was that if patients get access, need access to care, they're gonna have to do it through telehealth. Uh, and so this is something we've been working on for years to make sure Medicare would cover telehealth. And then when the pandemic happened, Congress passed a law to basically allow telehealth to be used under the Medicare program temporarily. So when you talk about telehealth and telehealth expansion, what exactly does that mean? There's a lot of different issues with telehealth, Lauren. Um, there's this uh, Medicare geographic and site of service restriction. There's audio only. So if you want to use it, if you don't have access to the internet, you need to use a telephone and our doctors and providers have to call the patient and they need to be able to bill with that. So Medicare covers that. Medicare also um, has, there's pay period between telehealth and in person. And that's definitely necessary for our doctors. We've been hearing all, all along. Another big issue our doctors are having, our providers are having, is that if you want to provide care across state lines, depending on what state you're in, that can be very complicated. So we're trying to establish a federal licensing system so that you can at least provide care to all your patients in your, in your patient population. So what's the current status of telehealth in Congress right now, and has anything happened recently about it? So as I mentioned earlier, uh, there was a temporary extension of Medicare coverage of telehealth uh, that ends in December, and what we have been working with Congress and AMJ members alike is to make sure that Congress and policymakers extend that uh, telehealth coverage permanently. So what you can do to help pass, make sure that telehealth is covered permanently, is that you can educate and advocate to members of Congress to make sure they all understand how important this issue is and that there is a permanent solution to Medicare coverage. Um, we do district advocacy program, which Lauren heads up, um, where we can set you up with individual meetings with your members of Congress. We have Capitol Hill Day. We have a lot of different ways for you to educate members of Congress, and it's very important for them to understand how these policies impact the patients in their local states. So is this a telehealth visit? No. Cut. <laughs>